my name is Frida Salazar. And um, we are here to talk to you a little bit about spiritual formations. Basically, spiritual formation is the same thing as campus ministry. Um, many of the students here today are involved in campus ministry. Ms. Angelo has done a great job with including everyone and um, getting the jobs. But we do a lot with campus ministry. Um, so I read announcements in the morning. I actually read announcements this morning. Um, I altar serve. I Eucharistic minister. Uh, I read. I do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, Brina, what's some of the stuff you do? Um, I'm mainly an usher right now, but I do look forward to like church like church like and stuff more in the church. Like, I'm, I'm I also mainly like organize events for like Latinos Unidos because we're also trying to like involve like multiple clubs more in, in like uh, campus ministry. Mm -hmm. Since I'll do a lot of the other members of campus ministry are involved in others, so you like want to branch out more and like yeah, just like involve ourselves. <laughs> So yeah, campus ministry, as you can see, it has a lot, but there's a lot more that goes into campus ministry than just reading announcements or helping with mass. As you can see, we grow spiritually a lot. I mean, doing these jobs really helps you grow. It's like you actually get a meaning of what it's like to run a mass or um, see what the prayer is actually like. To hear that stuff, it really can grow spiritually on you. And um, like Jaden said at the beginning, each class does have a retreat and the retreats are a big part in growing um, your connections with your classmates. So this year, I'm part of the freshman class, um, 2026, and my class went from, I think, 25 people last year to around 80 people. So we had 60 new students this year in the freshman class. And being able to go on that retreat in August really helped me get to know some of these classmates that I really had to know and branched out my friend group. And I'm still friends with some of the people I still met at the retreat. Um, and it's really big. I mean, it's really big. Campus Ministries is really big on growing spiritually and growing in friendship and growing in faith. Just all about the school. I mean, we are a Catholic school, so it is good to have this um, um, spiritual formation other than religion class. So we do have some really big things coming up in Campus Ministry. Um, we're going to be going with, I think, Jesuit, Ursuline, Bishop Lynch, and John Paul II, right? to Costa Rica this summer wow. um, to do a mission trip. Um, and that's really exciting. Um, we actually have a lot of, we had a meeting about it on Monday and there was a lot of people, um, including myself, who were perspective about this trip. So um, it'll be a really fun trip. And I think we also have a domestic one to El Paso this spring, right, Miss Angelo? Not this year, but Not this year, yeah. we still um, have that relationship because our diocese is a brotherhood, sisterhood diocese. Yeah, so um, we <laughs> branch out a lot in the Dallas community, um, outside and in Texas and even across the world, like you can see for Costa Rica. So the Bishop Dunn Campus Ministry Program is very strong and it's really an amazing program. Ms. Angelo's done an excellent job at branching out in the <laughs> last year. And we really can't thank everyone that does it and to be a part of this because it truly is one of the, I think one of the best programs that Bishop Dunn has to offer. I mean, there's a lot of awesome stuff at Bishop Dunn but this is something that most kids don't get to do, that you only get to do really at a Catholic school. You can't do this at a public school. So yeah, that's just a little bit about campus ministry. Um, if you have any questions, just feel up to come and ask me when we're having our little snack break. Um, <laughs> I'll be happy to answer them because there's a lot that goes with campus ministry and I'd love to tell you some more. Thank you. Aww.